Okay, in this tutorial, we'll continue working with the camera for one more lesson, and this will allow us to uh, control the camera during an animation. Because even though we have separate cameras set up that we can pick over here, like this, uh, we want to be able to do that within it uh, on the timeline somehow, so we can switch between these cameras on the fly. So that's looking there. Let's see what they're all looking. Camera, that one's looking there. Camera one has a different view and then camera two is this one let's put this one way up top like that now not, it's not parent to do it and empty so I'm gonna just press N real quick lock the camera to the view you can lock the camera to other things too to objects or to a cursor as well and then I'm just gonna navigate that down so I'm gonna look at this one from above like that I'll just turn that back off for now alright so at least I'm looking at it from there so each camera is kind of get a different orientation like that that kind of keeps them distinct all right so then you if you're creating your animation in the scene and maybe your animation is you know you just want to focus at this object and so we'll go to frame one here in the scene and if you press I there's no real way to set a keyframe for a camera directly like this I don't see anything about a camera and even if you did set a keyframe you'd be setting location keyframes so maybe you could move the camera in or out would work but there's no way to switch directly between the cameras and that's what we're going to do in this lesson so with this camera set let's see no that's not camera 2 let's start with this camera here make sure that's the one set camera dot zero one now I will start with camera I'll keep them in order uh, that one there that's camera alright and that's the active camera that we're looking at we can verify it yep like that. So down here I'm going to press M with my menu in the timeline and I'm going to set a marker. Alright, these are markers. It just labels it F.01. And then I want to bind that camera to a marker and I just press Control B when I'm in this window. You have Don't be up in here. That'll give you your um, it'll be the same as kind of doing border select but I press Control B here and notice it attaches this marker to the camera. The new label is camera. You can change the name of these as well if you just come in here you can rename the marker like that so I bound it to that so let's go up to say frame 50 here and then I want to go get the next camera in the scene this one here which is camera.01 so I'm going to make sure I select it over here make sure it's active with a solid triangle I'm going to press M to give that a marker and I'm going to press control B I'm going to bind that so that's bound to that and then I'm going to do a frame 100 and then I'm going to go get the other camera like this, which is camera.02, so I have to make sure it's the active one as well. I'm going to press M to set a marker in that window, and then Control B, and I bind it like that. So now I've bound all three cameras, and then maybe we'll end the animation at, let's say, 150. I'll just move this timeline back down to here like this, and then it'll just run through again. So when I'm down here, Let's just step through it with the right arrow key. Now we're looking at camera, that camera, that camera, that camera. So it should just replay it. Let's play this Alt A. We'll go full screen Alt A. So it starts there, switches to there, switches to there, switches back there. There you go. All right, and that's really with that that gives you all the tools you really need to be able to s add cameras select cameras you know create basic animations of course you can set animations on keyframes you know say you're down here at frame one like this you can also set a location keyframe let me you have in normal mode so maybe I'll set you know I location for this camera and this camera may be up at frame 30 I happen to move it like that. I'm zooming it into the scene. Oh, that won't matter actually on that case because that's not up there. So let's go get the other one instead. Let's go get this camera. No, that's not the active one. This one here is the active one at the beginning. All right, so I'll do that one instead. I'll set I location and then maybe up to frame. 35 or 30 or so I'll move it in like this and I'll stop it for a second and then press I and set that location now this should be animating 
at the same time before it switches. So from here, I press Alt A, should zoom in, stops, switches, then that happens. So you can kind of mix and match between the two. All right, well, that should be enough to get you going, and I'll see you in the next lesson.